What's up, guys? So, we're talking about this girl right here in this uh, post. Uh, if you don't know what happened, uh, she got beat up by four different kids, like, in the hallway. Uh, she's 14. The high school kids beat her up. Four high school kids beat her up. And then filmed it. They filmed this and then sent it to everybody in, at the school. And... I guess this girl got bullied the next day when she went to school. And, uh, then that next night, uh, she did what, uh, no parent wants any kid to do. Uh, she, uh, unalived herself, uh, which is very sad because this school didn't give one flying fuck, uh, about this little girl. And the superintendent, from what I'm hearing, and, like, it's hearsay until it's set until it's one hundred percent proven as a fact. Has been kind of a jerk, like telling like stuff that happened with this girl's parents. That doesn't have any effing thing to do with uh, this girl getting beat up at school by four high schoolers. What her parents do is nothing at all to do with her getting beat up and then unaliving herself, which is just sad. So, dear Miss uh, B-Hole, uh, which I'm thinking that's her. We're... Okay, this is, uh, they're asking for what, uh, asking what service or supports were being provided for the little girl with regards to bullying. Uh, go follow Jenny Smith on uh, Twitter, guys, so you can, uh, get information on this case because she's following it very well it says i hope you are well have you some here here are some answers to your questions the police are no notified and suspicion suspensions given immediately when an incident occurs but that didn't happen in this one like the police were not even notified these kids were just going to be suspended for a couple days and then brought back to school that's what's going to happen. Now now that it's become a pretty big story and a lot of people are talking about it, three of the four people have been terminated from this school, like indefinite suspensions. So that means they cannot go back to this school, uh, which is crazy. And the, th the fourth person, I guess, is still in school? Uh, that doesn't make any damn sense to me, but anyways... The entire school district has cameras, so we have all incidents that occurred. We were made aware of the of the circulating videos. Our crisis team was activated immediately, and the community was notified by the parents' patrol and in a letter. An incident of bullying or addressing it, if we know about it, was addressed. Our policy is five five one two. After her mother, after her mother's suicide since her father was having here's where this is this is what i'm talking about this is the superintendent that is answering this bullshit now why this even has to be even said is beyond fucking me beyond me this has nothing whatsoever to do with this little girl getting beat up by four high schoolers but yet this asshole had to put this in here so anyways here we go after her mother's suicide, since her father was having an affair at the end of her sixth of sixth grade, her father's married married the woman he had an affair with, and moved in to her house. Her grades and choice declined in seventh and eighth grade. We offered her drug rehab and mental services on five occasions, but father refused every time. This ha that has nothing whatsoever. To do with this girl getting beat up by four high schoolers. What does her past have any effing thing to do with this girl getting beat up? Are you freaking kidding me? This superintendent should be fired. On the fucking spot. We encourage our students to protest, but do not do it properly with supervision and all safety issues addressed. 
Eight, it is a tragic case and prayers go out to the family. You don't give a fuck about the family. If you put number six in this reply to this family, you put this, number six, in a, in a, in a reply to a family that lost their daughter because some fucking high schoolers beat the hell out of her and posted it around the school, the family that just lost their kid is grieving about the loss of their daughter. And this is what you brought up to them. Really? This. This is what you brought up. You should be fired. He should be fired. I don't give a shit. He should be fired. This, this pisses me off. Like, literally, if something happened to one of my kids like this, and that's what you wrote to me, I would go to jail. Because I would go up to the superintendent and hit him in his face. No questions asked. Because what the hell does my past, or or my ex-wife's past, have any fucking thing to do with my daughter getting beat up by high schoolers? Oh, that's right. Zero. Zero. Zero.